Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, we are doing another video where I try your guys' favorite Starbucks drinks. So I actually, I mean, if I'm just being 100% real with you guys, I just really had to pee. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go into the Starbucks. It's probably just gonna be a lot easier. So I just went in, got the drinks, and honestly, let's be real. This is the part that a lot of you guys skip to. So we got the goods. Actually, there were two drinks that I wasn't able to get and I was really, really sad about it. It was, they just completely did not have peach syrup. So I wasn't able to get, Jen recommended an iced peach green tea lemonade. That sounded amazing, but they didn't have the peach. And then Kristen also recommended a lemonade with passion tango tea on top and add peach juice. And unfortunately couldn't do that one either. So these are the ones that we were able to do. I am so hyped because one of these has raspberry syrup in it and I have weirdly been obsessed with raspberry syrup recently. Couldn't tell ya, I just have been. Also, the light is kind of potentially going to be weird. It, the sun is right here. So maybe I'll try to move you guys this way so you don't see. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna get weird. If it gets too weird, I'll literally back up. There's like shade behind me, but whatever. Ah! Sorry. I know some of you guys have headphones and you hate when I scream, but that one actually scared me. Okay. It's nice and balanced, sort of. It's a little slanted, but it will do. All right, so let's get to the very first one. The very first one was recommended to me by Madison, and oh my goodness, I saw this and I really had to try it. So it is a white mocha frap, but with a raspberry in it. And I'm excited. One of my new, and uh, I kinda don't even wanna tell you what my, like, what my favorite secret menu item is because I wanna do a video on it, but it's very, very similar to this one. Oh my gosh, it almost tastes identical. This is so bomb. It's something about raspberry in and coffee. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I think it's so good. But this to me tastes like... Heaven. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find words and that's the word that I could come up with. No, it's like... It's like, it's, I almost want to say like raspberry cheesecake is kind of what it reminds me of a little bit. White mochas just in general are delicious. I also love that it's in a frat because on a really hot day, you just, you don't, I don't know, on a hot day you want something that's refreshing, something that's cold, and this is the way to go. I haven't had a frappuccino in a hot minute and this is delicious. If you guys have never had raspberry in your coffee, I would highly recommend it. Like, I don't know why it works, but it does. Having raspberry in a white mocha or having raspberry literally in anything, for some reason, just works. So I actually just looked it up right now and a lot of people are comparing it to, actually this is a good comparison, but like a raspberry truffle. Um, yeah, that's actually like, Pretty good. I don't know if you guys have ever had like a like a truffle with like a raspberry on the inside. That is like actually the perfect description of what this tastes like. Listen, don't knock it till you try it. Okay, I've chugged like almost this whole thing. I need to calm down. You gotta give it a try. Like seriously, Madison, that was an amazing recommendation. I'm sure there were other people who also recommended it. Madison's was just the first one that I saw. 12 out of 10. Can we give a round of applause for Madison? Because that was so good. Switching over to this one is actually a little bit more basic, but you guys didn't need to give me a secret menu item. You just had to give me your favorite item. So this one came from Courtney, shout out to you. So she actually ended up writing two like boxes. And so what she said is I have too many, but frap wise, it's the caramel ribbon crunch cream. But lately I've been taking a liking to the cafe vanilla frap. You can definitely taste the coffee, but it's not too sweet nor strong. All right, we'll give it a try. It seems like very basic, but I mean, if you can taste the coffee and it's not too sweet and it's like not, it's like the perfect mix between like sweet and not super strong, let's give it a shot. 
Okay, that is actually, yeah. It kind of just, well, hmm. Yeah, it literally just tastes like a vanilla iced coffee, but blended. I will say it's probably a little bit more sweet than a normal like vanilla latte or something like that but that actually is pretty good i'm gonna give that guy an i mean it's basic so part of me only wants to give it an eight out of ten but at the same time because it's basic i feel like you guys are gonna love it i feel like every like there's not a single person that's gonna taste that and not going to like it just throwing it out there so i still have to give it an eight out of ten i love it I'm fully aware that my my ranking might be a little skewed, but I'm gonna have to give this an eight out of 10. It's basic, it's perfect, it's a classic. You could have it every single day if you wanted to, and it is really good. All right, moving these two down. I'm actually kind of scared to try this one right here because it is hot and it is like 90 some degrees today. But this one came from Autumn. So she said um, she recommended a Americano with dark caramel, add white chocolate and cream. An Americano is just espresso and water. So cheers, I don't know. We're just gonna do it. That's a strong drink, which is not a bad thing. Like I asked you guys for your favorite drinks. Um, it doesn't need to be hot or iced, so. This is a classic. This is a go-to every single day drink. If you guys actually wanted a go-to every single day drink that is going to wake you up, give you your caffeine fix. To me, it honestly, it definitely, you taste the coffee. So if you guys are not a big coffee fan, like if you don't really like the taste of it, this is not the gal for you. But Autumn, this is an amazing every single day drink. I will say it's very strong. So I don't know if it's just because it's an Americano and I just haven't, I don't typically get Americanos, it tastes very strong to me, but it also tastes good. I personally don't taste, maybe they just made mine weird, but I definitely don't really taste the white chocolate or the caramel. I can tell that there's some sort of flavoring in it, but to me this just kind of tastes like, let me con yeah, no. It says add dark caramel sauce, white mocha, and half an inch of cream. I don't know. It's good. It's good. It's a great every single day drink. This isn't like, I probably should have had this one first because coming after these two, which are very sugary, it is just not living up to it. It is delicious. I would also give this one an eight out of 10. It just tastes like a go-to everyday coffee to me it doesn't seem like something that i would like scream over i'm so sorry autumn i gotta give it an eight out of ten and the last one is from my girl morgan i know morgan she's incredible so because i know her i tweaked her drink a little bit morgan please do not kill me it was actually funny because i was looking at an old pool i got all of these from an old pool that i did on instagram so if you guys aren't already following me on instagram head over there because i'm telling you like that's where i get most of these like you know your suggestions and all of that stuff is over on my instagram i'll ask you whenever i need you guys to submit drinks and i had this weird deja vu because i'm pretty sure morgan has sent me this drink before so she clearly loves it so she gets a cinnamon dolce latte extra hot with almond milk so i love you girl but extra hot <laughs> actually i think i have tried this drink I think in another video where you guys submitted your favorite drinks. So clearly Morgan loves this, but hold on, we'll do we'll do a weather check. It is 88 degrees. So I'm sorry, Morgan. I ended up getting an iced cinnamon dolce latte, almond milk, and no whip. I'm assuming you didn't get whipped cream because you get almond milk. But let me know down in the comments if I just completely butchered your drink. But 
actually me and Morgan have talked and I love the cinnamon dolce like it is incredible they actually just recently got rid of their sugar-free cinnamon dolce I don't know why they did that but this is like a perfect I mean I haven't tried it yet it's actually been a hot minute since I've had one of these this is like one of my mom's favorite drinks ever I haven't had one in a while but what I do remember is that it's like the perfect go-to every single day drink it's delicious but it's not super high in calories and you can just like literally have it every single day yeah that is the perfect every single day drink I love the cinnamon the cinnamon just tastes super good and also the fact that it has like almond milk in it it's not gonna upset your stomach if you're lactose intolerant which is awesome but then just in general cinnamon dolce just reminds me of Christmas it makes me so happy and yeah that one for a win I would Hmm. I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 because it really is the go-to every single day drink tastes delicious gonna give you your caffeine fix isn't gonna hurt your stomach with almond milk and it's just delicious it's incredible so if I had to put them all in order that would definitely be the order of them it's the white chocolate with raspberry and then we have the cinnamon dolce with almond milk and then we have the cafe vanilla Frap and the Americano. Thank you guys so much for submitting your favorite drinks. Comment down below or send them to me in the DM on Instagram if you guys want to do that. If you guys want to be in another one of my videos, I love you guys. This is so fun. Um, also, I hope you guys are okay with me doing less drinks but doing more videos. So hopefully, you guys are cool with that. I don't know. Leave a comment if you guys have any opinions. I love you and I will see you all later. Bye.